to help you keep track of what your customers purchase from you, how much they owe you and when a payment is due, you can create a sales invoice. You can print the invoice and send it to your customer or email it to them directly. To begin entering a sales invoice, hover over the sales menu, click sales invoices, then choose new invoice. You can choose which customer to invoice by clicking the drop down arrow, or you can start typing their name and Sage1 will start to narrow down the list of customers for you to select from. If you do not have a contact record for your customer, you can create one by clicking the Add a Customer button. The invoice date entered should be the date the invoice was issued, and the due date will automatically calculate based on the credit terms you have set for that customer. If you have not entered specific credit terms for your customer, the due date will calculate based on the credit days in your default settings. If required, enter a reference number. This could be a customer order number, for example. However, this isn't a mandatory field. The invoice address will automatically default to the main address on the customer record. If you do not have an address in your customer record, you will need to enter an address in manually by clicking in the invoice address box. The delivery address is the same as the invoice address by default. If you would like to change it, click the drop down menu and select the address you would like to change it to, or custom to manually enter an address. Next, you will need to enter the product or service. You can use the drop down box to choose from your products and services, or type the name or the code of the item to narrow down your search and choose the required option. If you have not entered any products or services, click Create Item. If you're selling a stock item, Sage 1 will inform you of any items you may have in stock and will warn you if you enter more than you have. If you are not invoicing for a product or service, then you'll need to enter the description of what you're selling, the ledger account you want to apply to this sale, and the quantity of items sold. You'll also need to enter the unit price for the sale, apply a discount if necessary, and select the VAT rate applied to the sale. The VAT amount automatically calculates based on the unit price and the VAT rate entered. The gross total is the overall total for that line. If you've created analysis types, click the double chevrons and choose the analysis type you want to allocate to the sale. If you have set up your accounts for Foreign Trader, this is also where you'll be able to say if the sale is for goods or services for a customer inside the EC. If the customer is VAT registered, you must also choose which EU sales description you want to appear on the invoice. You can add more lines to your invoice by repeating these steps. If you are applying a carriage charge, enter the net amount and choose the relevant VAT rate. You can then add notes onto the invoice. The Terms and Conditions box will automatically populate with the terms and conditions entered in the default invoice settings. You can edit this here if you wish. If you need to save it as a draft invoice, tick the Save as Draft tick box and then click Save. You can save this invoice by clicking Save. Alternatively, you can click Save and Send to email the invoice directly to your customer save and print to print the invoice straight away, or save and new to create another new invoice. You have now successfully created a sales invoice in Sage 1.